G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in that last video I showed you this barbell that I picked up off the side of the road from some scrap heap. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be handy for turning on the lathe, I hope. Uh, I mean, you, you can pick up steel off, off the side of the road or all over the place that salvage steel, basically. And we call it mystery metal because that's the problem with it. When you, when you use salvage steel, you don't really know what you've got. The actual use of the steel often gives away the characteristics that you're likely to find. And, you know, the application could be uh, such that it needs high tensile steel or it needs springy steel or it might be mild steel. High carbon steel could be uh, anything really. There's just so many variations. So basically, okay, the steel is cheap, it's free, but it could be a lot more difficult to machine. It may even be unmachinable with a conventional lathe really to get any sort of finish and if it's super hard you may not be able to do anything with it you may not be able to cut a thread in it or you know do things that you need to do I've got some steel big steel round stock like that that is so hard uh, it's basically almost unworkable you certainly couldn't cut a thread in it and uh, yeah it's the lack of the draw so I'm a bit keen to see what this is going to be like. So this morning I'm going to spin some up. I'll just spin up this, this edge here, and see what it's like. If it machines okay, I might de-chrome this. Um, I'll, leave the, I'll leave the threaded sections. They could be handy, but I might just turn off the chrome and uh, see what comes up. Now the first thing I always do when I pick up steel, I don't know what it is, <laughs> which is quite often, there's one really good test you can do on it. People say, oh, use a file and do a spark test and all this stuff. Well, yeah, maybe. The test I like to do is just use one of these, a spring-loaded center punch. And that will give you consistent... Um, in force on the metal so if you're going from you know various metal samples you know hard soft whatever you'll see the impression left by this will will vary in accordance with the hardness now i you just put it in the click on it now i won't try and film it because it's too awkward but i did do it on this on the end of this this morning to see what it showed and it's certainly not soft um, but it's not super, super hard either. So I think it is machinable. Um, the proof in the, will be in the pudding, as I say. So let's mount this in the lathe and we'll, we'll try turning this collar bit here just to see what it's like. I won't take it right off because generally with steel, I don't take anything off unnecessarily because you may want it later on, you know, in your little project. I mean, that could be a handy piece of, you know, piece to have on there, depending on what you're going to use it for. Certainly this threader section won't be of much use that I can see because I'm, I'm unlikely to make up a thread on that, you know, uh, of that pitch. Then again, you could make an adjuster, you know, like it could be an adjustable uh, stand of some sort if you want to go to the trouble of cutting an Acme thread or, yeah, it's a sort of an Acme thread. Uh, on that pitch, you know, if the lady would do it, you know, it depends on if it would go that big. You know, it's all, it's all, it's all variable. Anyway, let's cut to the chase and just see what this steel's like. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think this metal's going to be quite all right. 
machining that, it feels and looks a lot like uh, chrome molly, which is what they make tools out of. So it could be tool steel, you know, or basically something very, very close to it. So yeah, this actually could be really, really good stuff. All right, I'll mount it up with the uh, live center and then we'll turn down that that ferrule and uh, see how that goes. Okay, to do this, we're just going to use a TCMT insert, which is a good insert, uh, very forgiving, handles most metals pretty well. It's got a good uh, radius on the uh, on the tip, you know, it's uh, not too pointy, so it'll keep, it can give a good finish, depending on the feed speed, of course. So I'll just go in on medium feed and we'll see how this goes. I'll spin it at about 600 and uh, yeah, let's do it. We've got a fine feed, see how that goes. Beautiful. Well, there's certainly nothing wrong with this steel. That works magnificently. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly not high tensile. Okay, I'll put in that chrome bar and we'll turn off the chrome, see how it comes off. Okay, we're going to go 600 RPM and I'll machine off up to here. I haven't got enough length in the bed to do the full length of the rod unless I use a fixed steady and I'm, I'm not going to drag that out just to do this demo so uh, I'll just flip it around and do the, uh, the bit that's left later. So I would do it on medium feed, 600 RPM, the TCMT, see how it goes.
So what is it? Well, after trying a variety of cutters on it, there is indexable cardboard profiles, the shear tool, uh, and finally a plain old high speed steel round nose uh, cutter. It's certainly not what you call top quality steel, which I didn't think it would be. I thought budget stuff like those cruddy weight sets, you know, I didn't think of anything marvellous. But, but overall, the old um, round nose high speed steel cutter did the best job of the lot. So don't go rotting off the old high speed steel. It's mighty handy stuff for particularly soft metal. I mean well soft, I mean pretty B grade metal really. And um, you can often get a good finish out of it with high speed steel, you know, with various profiles. But the round nose is pretty forgiving. It's got a quite a wide corner radius. So there you go, that crap steel off the side of the road is eminently machinable. It may not be the best machining steel in the world, but it's certainly plenty good enough for you to do hobby work, hone your skills, play around on your metal lathe and didn't cost you a bean. And, uh, you know, I mean, if you went and bought a piece of steel like that in top grade stuff, it wouldn't be cheap. And if you, you know, just messing around with it like this, you know, you'd be crying into your bunny uh, wheat picks over it, you know, it's uh, money down the drain. But in this case, it's free. Totally free. All right, well, that's it. I hope you guys have got something out of it. You know, get out there and start scrounging and, yeah, take it out of the time of your life. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.